mention this, but um, there was an article in CNN, and it says, author, more teens becoming fake Christians. How many of you read this? One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. A lot of teenagers, and this says that their parents are the same way. They like the idea of being in love with Jesus, but they don't know what it means. And what it says is once you push them a little further to stand up for their faith, they will never do it. Because they don't know what they believe. They just know that Jesus loves everybody and don't judge people. That's all they know. And I think that uh, a lot of systems of the world is designed to oppress Christianity from speaking out. I'm serious. They don't want you to speak out. Huh. Okay. Okay. Here it goes. You will never be accepted by the world. So don't even try. Devil says, said this to Christianity, and I believe that's the devil. If you become kind of like the world, you can win the world. Lie. Eh, doesn't work. Doesn't work, people. The more we become like the world, we get lost in it. We become almost Christians. The world doesn't change mind because it's not us. And our, our, our relativity or re relativeness, is that the right word? It's not us being so relevant that they will believe. No, it's the, the gospel. It's the power of the gospel. The Bible says, I am not ashamed. And the devil says, come on. Your, your Christianity is so old and so foolish. The Bible says, yes, we are foolish. Let me read something to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 4. But the natural man does not accept the things of the Spirit... For they are foolishness to him. So whenever you talk to the person who's a natural, meaning unbeliever, not saved, you are radical to him. You're foolish to him. You're weird to him. So listen, doesn't matter how cool you're dressed, how cool of a jeans you got, how good they look on your behind. Some look better than others, but... I got my favorites too. My wife said, stop wearing those jeans. You wear them every day. I, I just keep washing them. So now I got to wear these. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen to this. But the natural man does not accept the things of the spirit, for they are foolishness to him. And he cannot understand them because they are spiritually appraised. 1 Corinthians 1.18. If you're opening your Bible. For the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. So listen. When, when, when you speak the word of the, of the Bible, two reactions. One says, stupid Christian, radical fool. What the heck are you talking about? Science. Big bang. Two responses. To other, it's the power that saves them. How can it be? Listen to this. For the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. So those who have been predestined by God, those who Jesus has appointed... Before the foundation of the world, as the, that's why we need to preach, because we don't know who's going to be saved. Right. Only Jesus has appointed people from the foundation of the world, and that's why we preach. And those who hear and says, wow, this is real, I feel it. And there's others who are going to say, stupidity. I don't want nothing to do with this. This is so stupid. Christians are so primitive. They're so... Uneducated, unintellectual, they don't stay out of our politics, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I was debating people on, online, and, uh, and I mean, I knew I wasn't, from the beginning, I knew I wasn't going to change nobody's mind. I just wanted to get my, you know, what do you, what do you call that, when, when you go before, little boxing with a bag, you know, <laughs> little practice, you know. 
<laughs> to know what they're saying. And you need to do that. You need to stand up for your faith. And you just know that your convincing will not do it. It's the power of the word that you're saying. So one person will, two people will be sitting in a room, both hearing the same gospel. One will be like, wow, something's happening inside of me. Another will be sitting and uh, laughing at you, mocking you. Don't worry about the one that mocks you. Grab the one who's listening and teach him and make him a disciple. And he'll, and he'll go and his purpose in life will change. And guys, because you come here, I know that this gospel is saving you. Listen to this. And he cannot understand them. Uh, no, no, no. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. If you're being saved, then this word has, is becoming power of God in you. you you're getting, in, in, how do I say, empowered here. For those who are saved, who are being saved, it didn't say saved, being saved. It's, it's building them up. It's empowering them. For those who are not saved, it frustrates the heck out of them. They want me to end fast now. Shut up, pastor. I want to go home. I'm here for the girls or for the guys. I'm here for the connections, business connections. I heard you got a lot of business people here. Yes. Hallelujah. Shabbat shabbat. Thank you.